Okay, I'm actually so excited. Last week I said this, that um that one of the teachers, you know, the previous uses of One For All is just like All Might. Well, maybe not just like him, but he's got that aura. And Deku says in this chapter, and it, it was one of my favourite moments, not going to lie, just I like, got a little kick out of it for myself. um Because it's just like, I don't know, I just really love the whole sensei-student relationship. I think it's awesome. but And it also kind of develops into like a father kind of son relationship as well. It's like a paternal kind of mentoring kind of thing. I love it. I think it's amazing. And the fact that like um, all the users are going to be like that so that even when All Might's gone, Deku could probably still co uh, interact with All Might. But if not, um, if he doesn't always interact with All Might all the time, he'll be interacting with others just like him, which is really, really sweet as well. But yeah, this chapter got me thinking, okay, How's Deku gonna explain this to everyone? Really and truly, like because they're they're realizing that it falls within the quirk category. They said this chapter, they're realizing that something just happened. They allowed the fight to go on. So this begs the question: What's actually going ha going to happen in My Hero Academia? Is Deku gonna be now like saying, "Oh yeah, guys, yeah, this was just my suppressed quirk all the time. I was never quirkless." Or he's gonna be like, "Yeah, basically the quirk that I inherited from all my over there um has actually other quirks in it." So like, I'm really intrigued as to what Horikoshi sensei is going to do what's he going like because this is quite important because think about it it, it goes up either one either two ways like we just gloss over it or it gets addressed and that's the fact is what the hell is going on with deku's quirk why can he all of a sudden use black whip um and if it's part of his quirk all along why is he only been able to use it now like there's a lot of questions there's been questions over his um quirk all this time like even back when he first started ua i remember like people asking like um how it's really it's really like a rare case for you to even manifest your quirk so late and all that kind of stuff um and how like the fact that you're not adapted to your quirks like it wasn't made for you um you know there's been a lot of things like that um and you can only go so far like horikoshi can only go so far in the sense of characters being just ambiguous about it and just being dull like sooner or later they're gonna clock um that's my opinion but other than that we'll get back to the whole you know black whip thing at the end um yeah the fight continues on and we get a, a lot of actually cool stuff one Isaiah sensei Isaiah Sensei's always been a softy like that. I remember at the start when he first got introduced, he was like, if you guys fail, I'm kicking you out kind of thing. Or like, apparently, like, most times, he always expelled his students. I can't remember when. But I remember seeing that in the anime when I was watching, like, season one. Um, but, yeah, so Isaiah Sensei, you know, he's... He basically wants this fight to go on, I think, because of, you know, Shinzo. Like, he wants he wants to see the the benefits of Shinzo's training. He's been training him. And I love this line. Um, Isaiah Sensei, I don't even have the page load, loaded up, but, like, sorry for memory. Um, he says something along the lines of, um, like, I don't commit to something fruitless or something like that. Which was so sick, man. Like, it was so sweet as well to Shinzo. He's basically implying, like... Me, I'm not pouring in all this invest, like, I'm not investing all my time and effort into you because I think it's gonna fail. But just basically saying that he believes in the guy, to be honest. Um, which is really, really cool. And wait, one second, let me see. Okay, cool. This is what he says. Uh, I'm not the kind of guy who spends his time on something fruitless. I was like, damn. And it's really cool. So Shinzo, okay, so this is what happens. Deku, obviously, he's a little bit scared of using his quirk right now, so he's like, quirk is coming in. Um, he, uh, he lets, he, uh, he gets Uraraka to make him floatless, floatless, weightless, um, so he can, like, just jump in surprise into Shinzo, and then comes in, does a bit of a scuffle, and as, like, Shinzo's parrying the attack, like, he's on the, on the, de on the defense, somehow, like, without Deku even realizing, uses the whips to, like, bring down these massive pipes, these massive barricade kind of things, um, above him to like just crush Deku basically which is sick one it goes for his strength um goes for this how strong are these like strings damn well not strings but like these te the tensile strength must be mad um but like he brings it down and it just shows you this, uh, this chapter has shown a lot for Shinzo's development um when he was able to pull basically body Deku um, and but Deku wasn't using this quirk. But even then, back in the sports festival, even when Deku wasn't using this quirk, Deku was handling the guy. But now it's the other way around. Like we know that Shinzo's been, you know, Shinzo's been hitting gym. My guy's been, you know, fitting in the work, been working out a bit. Um, and it, it shows you his effort and how much he cares. Like he really wants to get into the hero class, the hero department, because he wants to be a hero. Um, 
So it was really cool seeing him do that, and then obviously seeing him do this, and the fact that it took Isaiah since say five years. Bear in mind, obviously he was teaching himself from scratch with like no basis kind of thing. But like the fact is, like he's learning it now, which is pretty cool as well. And I was just really intrigued in the sense, like um, I'm not intrigued. I'm really glad that we got to see more of the exposition of just those training montages, you know, between Isaiah and Shin. So like we knew Isaiah was training him, like we see in panels, Isaiah was taking him and all this kind of stuff. Like it was really um heavily implied, um, like through panels throughout tons and tons of chapters, like going on for ages. Um so it's really cool to finally like see the fruits of it, you know, like seeing it being just stated directly, which is really, really cool. But yeah, other than that, um uh Mineta man. This guy's a genius. Mineta is a genius. And I find it so funny how like He's playing everyone and like his main goal is obviously to just copper fill from um Mina, which is crazy if you think about it in a sense like he's the guy like it's like he's not even two steps ahead. The guy's just not even playing your game. Like he's finished and he's waiting for you to just react. Like that's what Minette is doing. And it's kinda of so cool how like he's making more use of his quirk as well, because like it's just sticky balls basically like it's nothing amazing um but the way that he makes use of it is really really cool like how it repels off him so he uses it as like trampolines basically to jump off and the way that he was doing like like sonic basically jumping off and like all over the place was really cool um it's a strong team actually not gonna lie at first when i first saw it i was just like oh, seems like only deku and iraq is gonna be doing stuff but like mina's really pulled her weight so has um mineta um, so it's really, really cool to see that. And this Urarika girl, man, like, this girl is milking her internship. Like, I know, I know it's useful. You learn some tricks, but, like, learn some new things, man. Like, what's going on? Every day is all this judo and, like, trick flipping thing. Um, but other than that, man, like, Monoma. I want to talk about Monoma. Monoma's kind of cool because I feel like Monoma's... I feel like he's quite a hated character. Not a hated character, but it's 50-50. Yeah, we like him or we don't. When he first got introduced, I didn't like him. Um... But now I'm liking him a bit more. Like he, at uh, sometimes he seems like a like a comedic character, but there's some depth to him as well. And, and like it's just a sense of like, obviously like his quirk and that's so, like he really has to depend on others. Like he doesn't have any speciality of his him, his own. He doesn't have any individuality. Um, like he can't depend on you. He can't depend on himself. Like his quirk is to copy quirks kind of thing. Um, yeah, which is mm, I guess it's kind of cool. Not gonna lie, but I can see I can see why people would like why you wouldn't want it. Um, but yeah, what was I going to say is, he says something on the lines of, um, uh, like the, the, the secondary characters never get the limelight, so what best is to, like, devour the protagonist or something like that. It's kind of cool. Um, I really do like his drive. I thought it was interesting, but I, I really actually do like Monoma, not going to lie. The sense of his, like, he's always climbing to be the best and be the top, and to take down the top dog, um, because, like, he is the underdog, if you think about it. Like, he doesn't have a great quirk he doesn't have a flashy one so like his goal is to literally take some to, to take out the person on top of the mountain and be that person on top of the mountain which is really um interesting it makes him more yeah it makes him more interesting that as a character because before all he was doing was he was just a troll like literally the guy was a troll um and yeah it was cool how he was just saying like every masterpiece has one in the story after all a supporting character who devours the main protagonist and he uses deku's pack um, he uses one four, which is really intriguing. Obviously, he copied the quirk, but I don't get it why it's a dud. I don't get it why it doesn't work. Either he was bluffing, but he was even surprised how it didn't activate. So I'm really intrigued as to why he doesn't, why it didn't work. Um, if you guys have any any thoughts about that, let me know in the comments below because I'm really really intrigued about that. But other than that, like this chapter was sick, and the fact that Deku, um is using this quirk so quickly is amazing but it can also be a concern i know a lot of people are like thinking oh this is gonna be so op um and all that kind of stuff me personally i don't think so i this may be like a ben 10 situation kind of thing like you can only use one quirk at once um and like he has to learn how to use and all that kind of stuff um however like don't get maybe maybe all the quirks on the previous users aren't like extremely flashy maybe one quirk is like to hear things from a hundred miles away like you catch my drift right like it's not always going to be massive fire quirks and like i don't know um causing things to um explode like i don't think it's going to be every single quirk is going to be something of that um situation for example all for one already in its basis sense is um a sh like a power quirk like he's got super speed strength all that kind of stuff like it, it, it um increases all of his body capability so i doubt we're gonna get another quirk which is going to be like super speed or like you you know um 
extreme endurance. It's not going to be something like that. Maybe it'll be like. I, I really don't know, but I feel like I really want some cool niche quirks, so, and we know Horikoshi, he can do it, um, so yeah, I, it may be a concern in the sense, like, why is he learning these quirks so quickly, how's he gonna master it, like, either way, I don't know, I feel like the big question from this whole thing that Horikoshi's done is, like, everyone's reaction, what's gonna happen, like, this, they're gonna be like, how do you have more quirks, and that's gonna open a can of worms, more, and so forth, and so forth, so guys, please tell your thoughts in the comments below what you thought about this chapter, if that's anything that say, please drop a like, that would be greatly appreciated, and I'll see you next week for that greatness that is My Hero Academia 215, seems like we'll probably get, um, a popularity, um, we'll get the results, maybe next chapter, because on the colour page, it didn't say, the colour page was sick, um, because they didn't say like he was number one and all so forth so probably next week um so yeah guys that's enough for me peace out goodbye